Hello, everyone. Welcome to Color and Chat with Joanna. How are you? It's me, Joanna, and I wanted to show you. I cannot even get it all in frame, people. Oh, all my sticky notes are falling off. Um, here she is. Okay, here's the top. And then I'm going to have to actually move it down a little bit so you can see the bottom. I mean, is she cute or what? So I took a little creative license. I did add um, the shadow of her eyes are so beautiful. But we did put some extra ABs in here. We put them around the nose. Look at how cute her nose is. Oh, my God. Lily, I love you. And I was very concerned about the ears um, because, okay, me and alpacas have a thing going on. Now, she's a llama, which is the first cousin of alpacas. Doesn't make a difference. They're all, they actually act quite old. <laughs> the only difference between a llama and an alpaca is an alpaca has these big buck teeth. And they can and they will bite you if they don't like you. However, alpacas don't bite at all because all they have are bottom teeth. And so they're really helpless as can be if they ever get chased down by a predator, which is why it's always good to have great Pyrenees around because the great Pyrenees will chase off a bear, a wolf. I'm telling you, when a great Pyrenees is trained as a guardian animal, they will go through everything to make sure that nothing hurts your babies. Um, because they, they, they take ownership of the animals and they watch after them. Uh, over here, I had some really, really beautiful, and, they're, and the camera's not doing it justice, but I had some beautiful lavender ABs. So I put them all up in here, and once she is framed, honey, let me tell you about the frame, okay? Now, to frame uh, this and also uh, the uh, Bella Safina that I just got. Mm. Sorry. Cool cup, right? Oh, holographic, I know. I am into all things rainbow and holographic now. And look at the top. It's like, it looks like crushed ice. It's so cool, right? Starbucks. Starbucks. Anyway, so um, for Bella Safina, I actually ordered wood molding that is like six inches. And I'm going to paint it and I'm going to pewter it. And I'm going to show you guys how I do pewtering for dummies. And I'm telling you... Literally, art aficionados will walk up and look at it and go, oh my God, where did you, that frame looks like it weighs 500 pounds. Where did you get it? And um, yeah, they they turn out beautiful. So uh, Bella Spina is definitely getting one for her the Christmas because I got the uh, blue Christmas, which is stunning. And then for her, <clears throat> I may do the same because she's going to be the centerpiece. And then all the other animals with glasses and books are going to be around her because they're uh, smaller in size. So, um, but anyway, I love her eyelashes. They turned out so sweet. I was very concerned about the detail of the actual photo. And now um, I see the magic. Uh-oh, I also see one little stone missing in her nose. I'm going to take care of that. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I love her. I love the butterflies. I love the butterfly on her glasses. And uh, the blues. Oh my god. If you could just see. I'm going to try to kind of loop her up a little bit. This is 50 Shades of Blue. Dark Royal Violet Blues very little black. You wouldn't believe. I mean, there's there's a lot of black in this side up in the corner. But even up there, there's a lot of confetti. She was very, very... Um, she was more time-consuming than I thought she would be. But anyway, I wanted to give you my review. Um, do I love her? <laughs> yeah. 
Hold on. I'm almost done. Well, I haven't rolled her out yet. I have to put her on my kitchen table and then roll. I have the big rolling pin. And so I'm going to roll her down. <clears throat> I will not be sealing it because once it goes behind the plexiglass, I feel like it'll be pretty well protected. And I do adhere it to the back of the uh, backing of the frame so that it is adhered to it um, so she's not going to get jerked around. Uh, anyway, I had to share her with you. And I know that some of you have joined with me on the actual journey of getting her done. And I appreciate it so much. Thank you for being a part of this. And uh, on to our next project. I'm not sure... If I'm going to do the Hipster Terrier, I'm really waiting for my Bubblegum Spaniel to get here. And then um, my other girls with glasses, uh, they're coming. Um, I do not have a tracking date on them. I think I'm going to have to make a phone call today. Anyway, so uh, I hope you enjoyed her. And thank you for being a part of it. And shine on, everybody. Bye. Bye. Love you guys. Keep shining. Bye-bye. Thank you.